One thing we haven't really done is an electric skateboard. It just so happens that our new co-op, Jeff, is an avid off-road skateboarder. Let's pimp it out. This monster had so much power to give. James loves electric vehicles. He goes practically everywhere on his one wheel. We built an electric half-scale Cybertruck and he's even tackled the seas as a silver surfer with an electric surfboard. On top of that, we featured all sorts of vehicles on this channel. We also like pushing those vehicles beyond their, shall we say, normal purposes. Like the time we militarized our Cybertruck with a giant air cannon and futuristic laser module or when James hacked his one wheel to accept a charge from any EV charging station. Then of course, there's the jet engine. Ian attached it to his canoe, and I souped up my snowboard with it. One thing we haven't really done is an electric skateboard. Sure, we made a self kick flipping skateboard that impressed Tony Hawk himself, but I'm talking about a powerful electric skateboard, specifically one that can be taken off road. So when we saw this all-terrain board online, we had to pick it up as a surprise for James. After we soup it up, of course. It just so happens that our new co-op, Jeff, is an avid off-road skateboarder. Um, avid is a strong word. Anyway, Jeff is a mechanical engineer from the University of Waterloo, so you should be able to tube this thing up for us, right? I think so. Awesome. Let's see what you can come up with. The obvious place to start is with the motors. They're located in the four corners of the skateboard. Each motor is rated for 2.5 kilowatts of power, and all four motors combined, they add up to 10 kilowatts. Each motor is responsible for powering one wheel, and having all four motor makes it a four wheel drive. For an upgrade, I went ahead and ordered this guy from MGM. You can see right away, it's a lot beefier than the stock. The theoretical power of this motor is 22 kilowatts. To put that into perspective, the three motors in the Cybertruck have a combined power of only 19 kilowatts. Even better, we're gonna use two. I'm not sure it's smart, but we're doing it. Now the issue is, these motors can take a lot more than this speed controller can supply. So, MGM has hooked us up with this monster. The speed controller relegates the energy from the battery to the motor and signals them to move. Lastly, let's upgrade the tires. I picked up these from Trampa. They have a much wider contact patch, giving it more grip when going off-road. They're also a lot thicker, which makes for a much more comfortable ride. By upgrading these components, I'll more than double the power of this board. In order to attach the components, I need to make some mounts. Let's start with the speed controller. Now the problem with using such a powerful speed controller is that it generates a lot of heat. Normally, I would attach a fan to the heatsink to deal with it. Unfortunately, I don't have the space to fit the fan within the chassis. That's why I built these speed controller mounts out of aluminum. Aluminum is a great heat conductor, making it suitable for this application. On top of that, the chassis of the skateboard is also metal, which further helps with dissipating the heat. With those done, I can cut the motor mounts. New wheels mean new mounts. Let's go machine some.
Earlier I mentioned that the stock board has four of these motors. Each motor is responsible for powering each wheel. This is a pulley. The motor turns the pulley and the pulley turns the wheel. The problem is that although we are increasing the overall power of the motors, we are actually subtracting two of them at the same time. That's how powerful these motors from MGM controllers are. So I need to figure out a way how to make each of these motors power two pulleys. I made this. It's a hardened steel shaft that is designed to go through the motor, the motor mount, the chassis, and out to the other side. This will allow one motor to spin two pulleys, which will then spin the wheels. All in all, two pulleys, one motor. So now that I have all the mounts built and have solved the all-wheel drive issue, all that is left is to assemble it. To start off, let's go with the speed controller. Done at last! It's looking a little bit bland though. Let's pimp it out. Technology is advancing at the speed of light. It's getting harder and harder to stay up to date. Micro Center is one of the best places to shop for all your technology needs. It's a tech haven with 25 locations across the United States. You name it, they've got it. Sometimes you just don't have the cash to build the absolute latest and greatest. Micro Center understands that. They offer an online custom PC builder tool that specs out the best PC for your needs that fits your budget. Not only that, they also ensure compatibility between selected components. And if building just isn't your thing, you can have one of the pros at Micro Center build it for you the same day. Plus, if you use my link in the description below, you'll receive a coupon for a free pair of Bluetooth headphones. Let's do it! There's a lot going on the skateboard, and to control it, I need a PCB, or a printed circuit board. This is actually the first PCB I've designed, so I was a little nervous, but Altium Designer was very intuitive and simplified the process. Altium makes designing a PCB so much easier than it seems. After finishing the design, all I had to do was to upload it to JLC PCB, and after a couple clicks, I was ready to place my order. I was surprised by how affordable it was. Let's go ahead and install it in the board. Thanks to the PCB, I can control the entire board with the remote. I got these programmable RGBs. Let's stick them on. 
and made this custom chain link that'll act as a hitch. And finally, our custom Hacksmith emblem. Woohoo! Before I give it to James, let's take it for a spin. Oh yeah! Wow, that was absolutely insane. This monster had so much power to give. Fun fact though, I software limited this board's power by 20%. So it's using only a fifth of its entire potential. I'm never doing 100% with this thing. Let's get it ready to give it to James. What the heck is this? Bogdan said you were working on something. Oh, it's gonna blow your mind. Okay. Huh. What the? <laughs> is that an off-road skateboard? Oh yeah, it is. I've never even seen one of these. <laughs> it's not the conventional skateboard, you know. But what is that motor? It's an 8100 motor, hella beefy. That's like what, 20 or 30 kilowatts? 22 kilowatts each, <laughs> 44 all in all. So this thing's more powerful than our Cybertruck. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> And, and here's the thing, the Cybertruck has three motors. This one has two, and it still outpowers the cy Cybertruck. That's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, tell me about it. What else did you upgrade? Well, let's start from the outside. So the obvious stuff are the wheels. So here are the stock wheels. Oh, and if you, yeah. <laughs> if you compare it with the, with the new ones, the new ones are way beefier. So nice. they have a wider contact patch. So it'll, be, it'll have way more grip off-road. Also, you see how thick it is? Yep. It'll give a much more comfortable ride when you're like actually on it. Are these custom machined aluminum hubs? Oh yeah, they are. Speaking of off-road, I also got bindings for the off-road <laughs> usage. <laughs> so right. obviously you'll be able to steer better, balance better. And here are the lights. I have the headlight, taillight, RGB lights on the side. So at, the, at night, it's gonna look awesome. And here's the best thing. The control for the lights are integrated in, in the remote. What? So if you wanna turn them on, you don't need to bend down. Just press the power button three times and they light up. That's awesome. And lastly, there's the chain link I made. So it's a tiny chain link. It, it kind of acts like a hitch. You want to be dragged by this thing? <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right, what, what's, what's underneath the hood? Oh yeah. So to speak. So we spoke about the motors, right? Yeah. So in order to power those motors, we have some beefy, beefy speed controllers from MGM controllers. Nice. Those so are, those are I have two of them, one controlling each one of them. Yeah. And then they are supplied by some amazing tattoo batteries. So this is a hot swappable pack I made. Awesome. So if you ever run out of battery on the go, you can just swap, in swap it out and put it in. That's sweet. The, th the thing about the batteries is that Capacity-wise, it's a bit less than the original, 
but yeah. they have way more output current. So the, says, utilize that max torque. Exactly. Damn, so we will be able to actually draw 44 kilowatts at full load, potentially. Potentially. I, I wouldn't do it. Like, I <laughs> yeah, can't, I, I can't I even draw like, like 10 kilowatts I from feel it. feel like this is already far overkill. Yeah, like, fun thing about the speed controller is that it's programmable. So if you ever think the torque is too much, well, you can just <laughs> increase the ramp up time. If you want to brake more harshly, well, you can also adjust that all in the software. I reduced the torque by, uh, by 60%. Okay. And I still can't pull full throttle on this. No, like, I can't. It just throws me off. I'd say, uh... <laughs> Good job, that's uh, a <laughs> hacksmith way. Make it uh, stupidly overpowered. Yep, and in case of a failure, which might happen, I, I made this fail safe feature, so I put uh, temperature sensors in the battery pack and okay. on the motors. That might so be a first for hacksmith, actually. Safety first. <laughs> so, can we try it? Oh yeah. All right, let's... Uh... <laughs> oh my, Ugh. this is so heavy. Oh yeah. <laughs> so not to break the fourth wall or anything, but did you know our videos actually take months and months to produce? And sometimes we shoot things out of order. So while I plan to test out this creation, something else happened. In our MLB video, I broke my hand. And as we know, this is way too powerful for what, what it is, and I'm just, I, I, I don't wanna like tempt fate and break my hand any further. So unfortunately, I'm not actually gonna be able to test this, but as you saw when Jeff tried it out, it is quite the machine. Anyway, once this hand is healed, I'm definitely taking this for a rip, and I'm looking forward to it. Now we're gonna pass over to the outro where I pretend I just got back from riding it. Woo! This thing is, um, Scary powerful. I think we might need to reprogram it just a little bit because I don't think anyone has any business with 44 kilowatts of power at their feet. Like this is absolutely insane. <laughs> so for that, good job, man. Like this is, that, that makes it a Hacksmith project. So <laughs> on behalf you. of Hacksmith Industries, I wanna present you with a Hacksmith internship certificate. Yay. And you know, open it up. Woo! And uh, best of luck with the rest of your studies. You'll be an engineer in no time. Making more ridiculous fucking. <laughs> <laughs>